All right, this is a Dell. It is 12 volt, 18 amps. See the model there, MK394. We got a bunch of them on eBay. Uh, basically about $8 each after shipping. So what I'm gonna do, it actually came with the, the AC adapter that goes into the wall. I'm gonna cut off this cable here and you've got basically a remote and a bunch of powers and ground. So I'm gonna cut this open, strip it back about right here and show you what's inside. Okay, this is what you get once you cut it back. You got three negatives, which are black, three positive, which are white, a uh, bare ground, a blue wire, and a red wire. I'm not sure really what this red wire does, but when you touch the blue in this ground, you can see that this indicator light goes from amber to green. Green indicates it's actually putting out 12 volts. The amber is the standby mode. So what you can do is either just twist these together and whenever you plug it in, it's going to be putting out 12 volts. The problem is when you, if you leave it like this, if you hook up a load, it kind of shuts it down. So you'll have to unplug it from the wall and plug it back in. So what I like to do is put a switch on this here to where you can reset it and put it in the standby mode and never have to unplug this thing from the wall. So I'll wire it up and show you what it looks like next. Okay, so here we are after I've soldered everything up. Um, show you. Go ahead and put the uh, shrink over it. I'm gonna have to stretch that back out. What I do is run a, like a little small screwdriver up under that and stretch it back out so it'll so it'll slide back over this not much you can do when it's when i had it so close here i could have had a little bit longer and it wouldn't have gotten as hot and shrunk that down something else i do i like to use this like poster putty it seems to work a little bit easier than using trying to get everything in these little alligator clips so i just keep some of this little poster putty stuff it down in there, hold stuff in place, um, use some wire pliers or something and hold the other and just get in there. Uh, when soldering XT60s these get really hot and will deform so what to do is you stick the other end in there and it will help keep it shape so when it gets hot it doesn't deform. So just some little tips there. Use a hot iron and try and be on and off real quick. Um, you can see, be sure to put your heat shrink on before you connect everything. And I've got a few little layers here, so I'll shrink all this up and show you the finished product. Here's the finished product. We got the uh, shrink wrap on there. You can see it's in standby mode. Hit the switch, it's on. I like to use XT60s just to uh, actually hook up all my chargers on them. I'll make like a three-way splitter to come out of this to get a multiple chargers. And there it is. It's pretty good.